Well, I mean, OpenAI already has 100 million credit cards in their database. You know, we're, they already have everyone ChatGPT subscribed and any of those features. So they have no incentive to go outside of their own thing. So, so we're like over here doing a very different thing. Um, like microtransactions, will they be able to do that sort of thing? Or I mean, they already do. Like, pay, like, like the API and everything you use is okay. all pay as you go. Like, if I generate one GPT-40 image, I can go look at my balance, and it's down okay. one cent, basically. Okay. All right. Um, so, I, like, they're already they are the the incumbents in this space are already heavily invested in their own platforms, and it's going to prevent them, I think, from from entertaining these other kinds okay. of options. Um, I, I just, you know, the other thing is that we're talking about one-on-one -on -one agents, um, me talking to open AI, to ChatGPT, right. versus an agent that's out there doing stuff on my behalf and interacting with other users and agents. And that's just like an exponentially harder problem that I don't think none of them are even trying to solve because, because it starts to point in a direction of deplatforming that they don't want to go. And so like, they're not even asking these questions, uh, you know, <laughs> if that makes crazy. sense. All right, two last questions. Yeah. Um, the first is very basic, but I'm just kind of curious. I was thinking about it last night. 